Well, 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 Harry Potter couldn't have been more controversial. Now, yesterday at the PlayStation reveal, about five years too late, in my opinion, but there was a Harry Potter, well, a Hogwarts kind of universe, open world MMO RPG, not an MMO, but an RPG announced. And I thought, you know what? This seems kind of cool if they do it right. Like if you level up your spell casting and your mage skills and your botany skills, they could actually really do this and do it right. Now, it's probably five or ten years too late, but I could probably still get down with it if they, if, they, if they really knock it out of the park. Well, of course, because J.K. Rowling is um, persona non grata to far, far, far left weirdos that apparently control most of what trends on Twitter, the game's already been canceled. Well, unofficially. And you see lots of people having complete meltdowns like Maya Violet. If you buy the new Harry Potter game, do not waste my time trying to justify it. You either stand with the trans community and stop supporting a transphobe, or you buy Harry Potter stuff and admit you can't give up buying one brand for the sake of all your trans friends. I don't know about you guys. I have a few trans friends. Sophia Narwitz is one of them. I don't think Sof Sophia would ever demand I don't buy or play a video game. That's not what a friend would do. Imagine your friend saying, don't buy that video game. It's offensive. Well, actually, nobody involved with that video game had anything to do with my offense, but it says Harry Potter. So don't buy it or you hate all trans folks. Absurd. I know for a fact I have lots of trans viewers who aren't delicate little snowflakes that lose their mind imagine treating a whole group of people like this like they can't possibly handle criticism and you have to you have to melt down in their defense now of course this is a witchy by trans adhd on huffington post your money speaks louder than your words i've had a hard time believing someone can support harry potter and still call themselves a trans ally i don't call myself an anybody ally I'm an ally for my, for my pets. Imagine making that. Look, be good. Be kind to everybody, regardless of their orientation. How about that? But I'm not going to call myself an ally. That's cringe. They don't need me as an ally. They need me to accept them for who they are. And that's exactly what they get. Um, I'm not arguing with anybody. Do whatever you want. Yeah, okay. Meltdown continues now now Sophia Narwitz puts here a Harry Potter game that isn't hurting trans people but what is this person is promoting the work and working with those who slander others using a, a trans identity as a weapon to do so but oddly I don't see you calling out your friend Laura K Buzz who has done exactly that you see here the Harry Potter meltdown I wrote a thing again retweeting Laura K Dale who's written multiple liable pieces about individuals in the in the video game world and you see sophia laura dale once again makes up claims that a comedian misgendered her even going so far as to write a sob story for the huffington post only for the accusations eventually to be recanted yet none of this has prevented her from failing upwards because she's protected by the game journalist journalist click that's true and she just recently wrote a trash article for polygon why i don't know because it's cool to have, I mean, I think that a lot of these uh, outlets treat trans people like purse puppies. Like, they don't really care about being your ally. They care about telling people that they work with a trans person. They care about telling people that they employ trans people. That's what they really care about. They don't really care about trans people. They care about the secondary likes and retweets from places like Twitter. And now Kotaku has got in, gone into the action just flat out calling J.K. Rowling transphobic. Transphobic creator J.K. Rowling, quote, not involved in new Harry Potter game. This isn't an opinion piece. They are making a statement about J.K. Rowling. As a fact. What has J.K. Rowling done that's transphobic? Critique things, said gender is real. Um... But she's always been an ally. I'm not going to simp for J.K. Rowling because I find her insufferable. 
And ultimately, I think it's hilarious that she's getting eaten by the very people she panders to constantly. But I wouldn't be a, a man of my word if I didn't at least defend what's right and true in this case. And Kotaku is absolutely uh, committing liable here against J.K. Rowling, uh, to which, um, oh, look at that. Look at that little comment. Your butt going to get specto liable lawsuitus cast on you. It's doing well in reply to Kotaku. Uh, and we'll take a look at the article here. Just a brief reminder. Now would be a great time to click like on that video. On this video. And then there's a little red subscribe button. Lower right. I hope today will be the day I earn your subscription. Subscribe now. Please. Thank you for doing so. It'll make finding my videos much easier, and it helps YouTube know that, well, some people at least are interested in the content I'm making. Now, Ash Parrish, who will probably be the last article they write um, for Kotaku, filed this to J.K. Rowling is a TERF, which is a trans-exclusionary radical feminist. I wish I didn't know what that meant, but it's the internet. Warner Brothers publishers of an upcoming open-world Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy, released an FAQ with the game's official Discord yesterday in addition to answering questions about the game's development platforms. The FAQ asserts that Rowling, who recently drew criticism for phobic statements, has no involvement in the game. Teased in yesterday's PS5 event, Hogwarts Legacy is an action role-playing game set at Hogwarts 100 years before the events of Harry Potter series. Reaction to the game was mixed, with many fans mourning the existence of the game was much desired, but irrevocably tied to J.K. Rowling. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> no. 1% of the fans. This is what happens when you spend exclusively all of your time on Twitter. This is why everyone thought Hillary Clinton was going to win in a landslide in 2016. This is why everybody thinks that uh, everybody with blue hair is a psychopath. You know what? I've met way more cool people with brightly colored hair in real life uh, than I've met in fact, I've never met like a crazy SJW with that color hair in real life. Um, so this is what happens when you spend all day on Twitter. You get you start to think that Twitter represents everybody when really they represent a tiny percentage of overall people and also an overwhelming percentage of one kind of person. Uh, the idea that this is going to affect, that this would affect uh, any sales for Harry Potter books is hilarious or Harry Potter video games or for Fantastic Beasts uh, because the group of people that we're talking about, even if they had a reasonable gripe, which they don't in my opinion, is ultra tiny. But outlets like Kotaku like their purse puppies and they like to pretend that there's a ton of people all behind this thing when there really isn't. She has on numerous occasions made statements on social media that discriminate against trans women or support trans exclusionary radical feminism, which is what you say. It's not a fact. Rolling statements have drawn condemnation from fans as well as Harry Potter film actors Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, and Eddie Red Redmayne. I'm sure. I'm sure they were asked in a. I'm sure that they were given all the context when asked to comment on something that they don't have anything to do with anymore. Warner Brothers FAQ reads, J.K. Rowling was not involved in the creation of the game. However, her extraordinary body of writing, extraordinary, but it is the foundation for all the projects in the wizarding world. The events of the last several weeks have firmed their resolve as a company to confront difficult social issues. Variety statement reads, Warner Brothers' position on inclusiveness is well established, and fostering a diverse and inclusive culture has never been more important to our company and our audiences. Blah, 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 blah. Please don't cancel us on Twitter. On Twitter, many current and former Harry Potter fans expressed a range of emotions and opinions about Hogwarts' legacy and its connection to Rowling. Well, here's the thing. Read another book. Read another book. Being a fan of something is cool. It's, it's definitely cool. You're a Star Wars fan, you're a Marvel fan, you're a Harry Potter fan, but don't make it your identity. Make it a part of your identity. Make don't make it who you are. Some corporate garbage. Be more complex than that. Be more complex than a, a Trekkie. Be more complex than a PlayStation fanboy or an Xbox fanboy. Play the game if you like it. Um, the idea that Kotaku can just claim this. 
uh, seems very dangerous, especially uh, with the amount of money Rolling has and just how unprofitable Kotaku is. They're cruising for a lawsuit here, and it's one that they can't afford. I, for one, look forward to celebrating the day in which Kotaku is gone completely. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.